Welcome to the Small School Districts Association's Virtual College Fair. Thank you very much for joining us today. Before we get started with our presentations, just a few quick housekeeping items to go over. Uh, the first is that attendees are welcome and encouraged to ask questions to any of the participants at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. You can ask a question to a specific panelist, or you can ask a general question to any and all of the panelists. Also, just a reminder that your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. And there are two other blocks of sessions today, so if you've yet to sign up for those, please do so. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. Without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to our first panelist, which will be the University of Alabama. Hello everyone, I'm Heather Robinson-Lauer with the University of Alabama and just am delighted to be here with you today. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen so you can see some information and of course you're welcome to ask questions um, at any time that you have them. So I just want to emphasize for a moment um, that we are the Crimson Tide. So if you're looking for the University of Alabama located in Tuscaloosa, that's us. We do have sort of sister brother campuses in Birmingham and Huntsville. So if you're looking for UAH or UAB, they are um, separate institutions, but this is the flagship, the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa, city population of about 100,000 people. So um, I always tell students we're very much a sort of iconic college town, not a metropolis by any means, but not super rural, just sort of halfway, happy median in between. You will see here, this is sort of our campus profile. So I used to say, when I lived in Alabama, I would say um, large university. Then I started recruiting in Texas and I had to sort of scale that back just a little bit. So we're a medium-sized university. Our total enrollment here that you see does include our graduate school and our law school. So undergrad population is hovering at about 33,000. Tons of diversity on our campus in terms of racial, social, geographic diversity. Um, you'll see lots and lots of different states represented on our campus. And the ones that are sort of, um, you know, competing for those top spots for out-of-state populations are highlighted in red. So that'll kind of give you a representation of what we see. We are about 65% out-of-state. So out-of-state students are certainly welcome and represented quite well in Tuscaloosa. Um, one of the advantages to going to, to one of these sort of um, large, medium state school populations that you've got lots and lots of options of what you study over 200 majors and minors some of our nationally recognized programs engineering business communications nursing so business nursing and um, engineering are all 40 top 40 programs communications is a top five program we also have a nationally ranked law school in the top 20 dance um, accounting are also recognized programs our STEM path and create path to the MBA are making a national splash. So that just sort of gives you a precursor highlight to what we offer. Um, in terms of getting into Alabama, we're looking for um, at least a 3.0 GPA. We will take weighted GPAs. Traditionally in normal years, I know you've heard this more than you'd like to, and we've said it more than we'd like to, but um, 21 ACT or 1080 SAT, certainly we went test optional this year. This will kind of give you an idea of the honors college um, admissions requirements. I do want to make a note for you that they do have test optional criteria in which they will ask for a little bit stronger GPA and then additional essays and recommendation letters. So if you're interested in applying to our honors college, which is the largest in the SEC, be sure to check us out. Um, I just wanted to highlight on this slide a couple of you know, opportunities, there are myriad, myriad organizations on campus to provide some additional support, but these are just a few. Um, the parent program partners with our first year experience, and it's certainly a great opportunity for incoming freshmen um, of all profiles, but specifically students that are out of state. This is sort of a glimpse of what last year's freshman class looked like in terms of profile, average ACT of 3.83, average ACT of 27, we had 221 National Merit Scholars and certainly um, provide very competitive scholarships for students that find themselves in the National Merit Race. So if you think that you fall in that profile, please be sure to check Alabama out. Additionally, this will kind of give you an idea of when our application goes live. 
For those of you that are rising seniors, and um, we typically go, typically go live in the summer, we are for the first time this year going to be a part of the common application. We will also continue to hold tightly to our individual application, but that will give you sort of two optionals. Currently, our board of trustees is making decisions of whether we will remain test optional for at least one more year. So stay tuned for details. And part of the reason we have such a large out-of-state population is because of the scholarships that we offer. I just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of these. This scholarship chart here, these are guaranteed monies based on GPA and test score. Short end of the story, if you meet the criteria, the money is guaranteed. We expect to at least have a very similar, if not identical model for our students next year. For students that applied test optional this year, this is the model that, that, that we followed. There are various tiers and you go into a competitive review bracket. So again, these are sort of our automatic guaranteed offers and this is our competitive review. And then additionally, I wanted to sort of highlight this diversity scholarship, including rural and small school programs. These are also guaranteed monies. And I'm going to, when I finish, put this link in the chat box so you can navigate there as well. Housing at Alabama, brand new dorms, brand new dining halls, brand new swimming pools. It's like resort living. And we do have a priority selection process for students who have applied um, between, applied for housing between October 1st and February 1st. It's a little bit more here for housing, showing you where they're located on campus. Over 600 student organizations on our campus, so plenty to get involved in. And this is my contact information. Again, I'll place it in the chat box. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to talk with you today. Take care and roll tide. Thank you very much, University of Alabama. Um, and just a reminder to any attendees who recently joined us, please do feel free to ask any questions you have to any of the panelists utilizing the Q&A feature. But up next is the University of South Alabama. Thank you. I went ahead and put my information in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Awesome. So thank you. I am Crystal Garcia with the University of South Alabama. I reside in Houston, Texas, and I recruit students from the entire state of Texas, as well as the west part of the nation, all the way from Colorado to Hawaii and everything in between. We're a little over 50 years old, um, so a lot of things are relatively new. We're a mid-sized research-based institution. We have students around over 14,000 students, with your biggest class size being no bigger than 25. So so you're not going to be in a big auditorium, but instead we have 75 professors that are full time faculty dedicated to students uh, with professional experience, as well as we have students from all 50 states and a 20% international population. So we're incredibly diverse. We also rank top 5% in the nation per Carnegie classification as a research institution, which means students can conduct research as early as their second semester freshman year. We also own and operate two hospitals hospital systems, as well as a Cancer Research Institute. We've also expanded a trauma center. So we are the leaders of healthcare within the Gulf Coast area. Um, we offer over 100 academic programs, undergraduate to graduate degrees. My favorite thing about South is you do not have to declare your major to your third semester. You can declare right away or anytime in between that. Every institution is different. I know it can be confusing university and college for us. You need to apply to the University of South Alabama. Once you're admitted, you can apply to Honors College, EAP, scholarships, all these programs. Um, and like I said, you don't have to declare right away. Here at South, students have to have a major and minor. We want students to pursue their academic interests as well as their personal passions. If you double major, you don't have to have a minor, but you can triple major, triple minor, or create your own major. So lots of flexible options. We follow the liberal arts, um, humanities, sciences. So no matter what, everyone's gonna have a well-rounded education before you declare. Everyone has academic advising before every semester. Once you declare your academic advisor is going to be a professor. Um, and I know we offer a lot of different programs, but I would like to mention that we have the highest accreditation that all these colleges could have. So whether you want to do medicine or teaching and say you get certified in Alabama, you can bring that right back to Texas or move to Nevada, for example, um, since we do offer that. And we have a lot of different academic programs, but I would like to mention we are the leaders in marine biology. We also offer aerospace engineering, Air Force studies, pre-med, um, 
lots of different things as well as theater arts. So if you want to concentrate in um, performance or dance or opera, everything of that sort, I listed the full list within our um, within the chat. So you can definitely look more into that. We also offer early acceptance programs. So students in high school have the chance to gain early acceptance into our medical school while in high school, as long as they maintain a certain GPA throughout college. This very competitive program only accepts 10 people. And I'm very proud to say that one of my students from Houston, Texas is part of that. So really excited. We're also the leaders in nursing. We have online graduate and undergraduate. We have a 97% pass rate in our College of Nursing. So definitely check that out as well. Um, lots of different programs. Our students do at least two to three internships. Mobile is one of the largest and oldest cities in the state of Alabama. We're also the founder of Mardi Gras, so we're the cultural epitome of Alabama with there being a South and Mobile jazz, opera, symphony, ballet. We actually have a weather center on campus, so students get to do paid internships within our weather center, as well as study abroad. Um, lots of great stuff. Um, something that's really cool is we actually have an archaeology museum on campus. So in addition to everything anthropology based, our art students actually get to do real life gallery showings. We're one of the few in the nation that have glass blowing as a major. Uh, we also have a yearly animation festival. If you're in our marching band, your tuition's covered if you become drum major. Or my bad, if you're a marching band, you have a scholarship. If you're drum major, your tuition's covered. Uh, fun thing, students created a bass fishing club that was actually featured on Bass Fishing Magazine magazine recently. And I know after this, I'm going to talk about some fun traditions. We do have an honors college. So once you're admitted, you have the opportunity to apply for this. You have my contact information and I love to talk more about this. We are division one under the Sunbelt Conference. Our football team and basketball team is on ESPN. We have a brand new football stadium that's ready this year. Um, so really excited about that. Our women's our women's soccer team won the entire conference last year. We're the golf mecca with state-of-the-art facilities. So I'd love to talk more about that. Lots of great student services. We offer uh, tutoring for every single course that we offer. Um, freshmen are required to live on campus out of our 33 residence halls. We have three specific four freshmen four residents, three residence halls exclusively for freshmen, hardwood floors, vaulted ceilings, free HBO Go, cable, Wi-Fi, and a mini fridge. You don't share a restroom with anyone but your roommate. In addition to all the, all the great dining that we have, we have Einstein Bagel Brothers and Starbucks within our academic halls. So I think that's super special. Parking is only $5 all year long. So you save thousands of dollars there. We have over 90 walking trails with several nature preserves on campus. Our Jag Tran is free and it takes students on grocery runs for free on the weekend. Um, so really beautiful campus. As I mentioned, we're the cultural epitome of Alabama, 45 minutes away from three beautiful sandy white beaches. We actually have over 800 hospitality jobs as well as a hospitality and tourism management department. Um, we're the second large Delta to Amazon. Uh, students are admissible with these criteria and I know I have a few minutes so I just want to say uh, our application fee is waived with the code that if you email me I'll let you know we just need a transcript your test scores we are test optional for, for here on out if you make anything above a 21 1060 3.0 you automatically get in-state tuition up to full uh, tuition with a scholarship so you pay this instead of that of course, definitely fill out your FAFSA. If you visit with me or do an on-campus visit, you get a $100 visit credit. So again, you know, definitely reach out to me, fill out the interest form, check out our YouTube channel. Here at South, there's a place for you. You get to choose a career, prepare for the future. Here you get the full college experience with a quality education at an affordable rate. Going out of state gives you the time and space to create and grow into yourself. South gives you the platform to discover yourself and for you to discover yourself at the utmost level. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. University of South Alabama. And again, to all of our attendees, we know these are very quick six minute uh, presentations. So please do feel free to send through any additional questions you have through the Q&A feature. But up next is Hendricks College. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ryan Castle, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Dean of Admission at Hendricks College. 
Um, I have a, attempted to share my screen, so I hope that you are seeing a, uh, a, a Hendrix College image uh, with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, one of our admission counselors speaking to some families. Um, Hendricks College, we're located in Conway, Arkansas, um, a city of around 70,000 uh, people, just north of, of our state capital of Little Rock. Now, um, there are plenty of, of accolades that our many of my friends on the screen today will share. And I'm trying, here we go. Hopefully you're seeing that, um, the, the advancing of the, of the slides. Uh, of, the, of this list, one thing I will highlight is uh, Hendricks College, we're a member of the Colleges That Change Lives uh, book. So a former uh, New York Times uh, author, uh, Lauren Pope uh, prepared this. Uh, we're an original member of the group of small schools where, uh, uh, where not only will you change uh, for the better, you will influence changing uh, the, the college itself. And so we invite you to uh, explore that list more. We're a proud member of colleges that change lives. So Hendricks, we're a school of around 1,100 students, uh, making up 43 states and a number of different countries from around the world. Uh, intimate atmosphere, it's a place you're going to be known well, 10 to one uh, student to faculty ratio. Uh, you will have no graduate students teaching you because our focus is on the undergraduate student, um, the student earning the bachelor's degree. So you're going to be the ones uh, working side by side with professors in the labs, working on research um, projects, you may leave this place having co-authored a paper. So our professors are certainly here for you and as opposed to a more graduate school uh, experience. Um, in that previous slide highlighting some different accolades, uh, Hendricks uh, annually appears on lists of most, most innovative colleges. And the, we, we'd like to think that we reinvent ourselves, we continually reinvent, and this is a place where you can reinvent yourself and contribute to uh, the, uh, the, the evolution and the betterment of this place. One of the programs that has put us on this uh, innovative map is our um, nationally renowned Odyssey program. We want you to have a positive experiences both in and out of the classroom and combining those co-curricular experiences. Uh, so while you're here at Hendrix, you will have at least three experiences that we call the Odyssey program or the, the journeys. Um, and those different themes are artistic creativity, global awareness, professional and leadership development, service to the world, undergraduate research. And if you one of those doesn't uh, do not fit, then you can have a, an experience all on your own. We put funding behind this. We've given out over $5 million to students to pursue Odyssey experiences that might need funding for you. Uh, we also uh, prepare students for the professional world. Uh, from day one, you will be able to work uh, with our uh, career services office. Uh, we're not a place where you have to wait till junior or senior year to work with them. And in the spirit of uh, co-curricular nature that I spoke about with Odyssey, within your classroom experiences, our faculty members will have a variety of co excuse me, of career competencies that will be a part of each class, critical thinking and problem solving, communication, intercultural collaboration, leadership, professionalism, and career management. And all sophomores take part in a program called Career Term in January of that year, where you will have networking opportunities, um, the different receptions uh, for you to be introduced to a variety of different professionals uh, who are who are Hendrix alums or friends or parents. Uh, we have the Hendrix Murphy Scholars for students who are interested more in the languages and the and the literature uh, programs. Certainly, those are very popular programs here at at Hendrix. Um, thinking about applications, um, I, I, in case we do have any seniors in the group, we do have, uh, we will certainly still uh, receive applications from you, uh, juniors and, and sophomores. Uh, down, down the road, it's at main application is November 15th. Uh, we do accept the common application. There is no fee to apply. 
Um, you know, we want to see, of course, the Common App with its essay, of course, uh, your transcript. We are test optional, and we were test optional before COVID. Uh, we know that uh, those tests tell a lot, but are certainly um, there's so much more to tell about you, and we want you to apply with or without test scores, whatever you think is best. And we'd love to see what some individuals have to write about you, whether that be a teacher, a counselor, a, a you know, a mentor, a supervisor, a coach, we have great flexibility with, with who you want to have submit your recommendation. We would like to see those. Now, uh, in regard to scholarships and financial aid, most students will receive some sort of aid. Uh, we are a private school, but a commitment we make is that we commit to you, you will pay no more for Hendrix than what you would at your home flagship school. So Texas students, tuition rate for Texas at Austin, you, you would expect to pay no more than that. Uh, if you're in California, for example, Berkeley would be that. Um, I put my contact information on the screen here, encourage any sort of engagement, and we love working with students through this process, and I'm so glad you're here today. So thank you all. Thank you very much, Hendricks College. Um, now we're going to move on to the second half of our presentations for this session. And up next will be Piedmont College. Hi, everyone. I'm Wendy Stanley. Um, I, and I actually um, want to say that um, if I say Piedmont College, um, we have just become Piedmont University last week. And so if we slip up every once in a while, um, we're doing our best to get used to our brand new name that we are very excited about. Um, next year, Piedmont will be 125 years old and um, our regional we are now recognized as a regional university. And uh, so hence we have changed our name and are very excited. We are located in uh, the beautiful North Georgia mountains. We're about an hour and a half or so Northeast of Atlanta. Um, lots of um, mountains, the Salty River, um, hiking, biking. It's a very outdoors type community um, and just a beautiful place to be almost all year round um, in Northeast Georgia. And um, we have different um, colleges now, the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, College, the Walker College of Business, College of Education, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Um, over 49 clubs and organizations, 21 sports teams, we are division three, and an 11 to one student faculty ratio, about 1200 students um, overall in our undergraduate programs on this campus. And as again, I said, uh, we have just become Piedmont University. That's our super exciting news. Um, and lots of expansion. We've got a brand new residence hall going up on campus that will be available in the fall of 2022. Very excited. Uh, let me get back here, residence life. So most of our um, first year residence halls are suite style, which means two students share a room um, and with a large bathroom and uh, another suite of two students on the other side. Um, residence assistants are available in all our residence halls. Um, the rooms come furnished with twin beds, um, a full size refrigerator and a microwave. So those aren't things you have to purchase, those come with your room. So um, something to think about there. Um, certainly ample closet space and desk area. Um, we do try to provide opportunities for different things um, off campus as well as on campus. We are quite close to, um, of course, Atlanta. So you've got the Georgia Aquarium um, and Six Flags is very close. We are also an hour from Athens um, and uh, the University of Georgia down there. So 
um, if we've got any fans for that, um, just an hour from Athens. Um, we'll move on here. Um, certainly these pictures are pre-COVID, but we do want you to see that um, certainly lots of activities uh, going on on campus. And uh, we have been able to remain in person um, with classes all year this past year. So that's been very exciting. Um, certainly we have a um, mask policy, and, uh, but that has allowed um, us to be able to be in person um, and have a wonderful year um, this past year. Admissions requirements, our application is always free and uh, we are test optional this year and possibly for next year. Um, our, we like to see students that have at least a 3.0 GPA um, and we will of course accept test scores if you have them. Financial aid, almost 97% of our students receive some type of institutional aid. Um, we offered over 12 million in merit-based scholarships last year. We love to have students come and visit. We do offer in-person tours for you and your family, uh, Monday through Friday. We do have um, an electronic visit calendar on our website, so check that out if you'd like to come and visit Piedmont. You'll get to meet uh, with the admissions advisor. Also, we let you meet with a financial aid advisor. So if your parents have specific financial aid questions or general questions, they are happy to talk with them about that. You'll be able to meet with a professor um, and ask them all kinds of academic questions about the major that you're interested in. Um, and also, um, if you're being recruited by uh, one of the teams, you certainly will have an opportunity to meet with um, the coach. So definitely check that out. We also offer a remote um, or virtual tour um, every day on, uh, on the, cam on the uh, campus um, visit website. You can check that out. And if you have questions, certainly reach out to ugrad at piedmont.edu. Um, we are happy to um, talk with you about any interest or information you need about college. And we have a brand new website for Piedmont University. So check that out at piedmont.edu. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much, Piedmont University. Um, our next presenter will be from the University of Louisville. Hi y'all, thanks for joining us. I'm V Aludema. I'm gonna first start with a quick little video. You walk in here and you don't know where you fit, but there are people from everywhere and everyone's looking. For friends, for fun, for their future. Jock, geek, troublemaker, nerd, blah, blah, blah. Forget your high school labels. Here, you'll live in a diverse world of individuals. The University of Louisville's student body is representative of the state, the country, the entire giant planet. Starting now, you get to define you. No, 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 you've got the R all wrong. With more than 200 majors available, we definitely have your major. Before you graduate, you'll go to more than 1,200 classes and you'll traverse a park-like campus cultivated with more than 220 years of history. There's also lots of opportunities for internships, co-ops, international study abroad, and research programs to layer your education. UofL is about much more than academics. Explore the things you love. Join a club, volunteer in the community, get active in student government, start a study group for one of your classes. The residence halls are a great place to bond with new friends. Almost everyone loves their first roommate. Almost. But don't roost in your room too long. We've got state-of-the-art workout facilities, a variety of intramural sports, and other fitness clubs that make it easy to stay active. Stop, that R is still not quite right. Back up. Rubbing the toe of the thinker during finals week will bring you good luck on your exams. On the other hand, don't step on the cardinal bird. It's bad luck, very bad luck. You're leaving the nest to explore new boundaries, but don't be confined by the boundaries of campus. 
Louisville is a vibrant city full of culture, music, parks, sports, and great food. So get ready to settle in and learn how to throw what you know, because by the time that you leave the University of Louisville, you'll be ready to... When you become an insider here, you're ready to make an impact out there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. So again, I am V Alidema. I'm with the University of Louisville based in Los Angeles, California and work with students from all Western US. And so some reasons why students choose the University of Louisville is because we're a great value. We are medium-sized Carnegie Research University that's accessible, affordable with automatic scholarships and internship opportunities at Fortune 500 companies, not only in Louisville, but across the US. And we also have engineering co-ops which have paid an average of 34 thousand dollars before students even graduate from college so we're also very lucky to have our own dentistry school and law school with direct entry so it's possible to get directly admitted to both of those uh, before you uh, even start your classes as well as our medical school and university hospital system so we were very well prepared to handle a big crisis like COVID-19. We're one of only um, 13 universities in the US with a CDC lab that conduct pandemic research. This uh, uh, medical expertise allowed us to safely invite students back to campus for in-person classes as of last year. And we're certainly going to be in person this year as well. So we're located in the suburb of Louisville, about 10 minutes away from downtown, walking distance from famous Churchill Downs, where the famous Kentucky Derby will take place soon. Um, and U of L has been named the most beautiful campus in Kentucky. We are residential with ample housing options and tree line campus, which is very compact and walkable. End to end, it'll take you about 15 minutes or so. And this is where the Cardinal eats, right? So this is where uh, you'll find uh, lots of different um, uh, options for, for restaurants and all important Starbucks <laughs> to get you through your classes. So these are some of the unique majors we have in our campus. We are an excellent school for pre-professional studies. Uh, so if you want to go to med school, medical school, dentist school, um, law school, any of those, uh, we also have um, lots of other students who are studying in our popular majors. I'll say for students from Western US, uh, especially California, most students are coming in for nursing, business engineering, as well as our number three sports administration program in the nation. So if you wanna just kind of visualize what uh, each program entails, head over to our website and search for flight plans. Um, if you're not sure what major to pick, more than 216 majors are available to you. And you can also come in as undecided. We do have all the resources to get you still out the door in four years. Um, so don't be uh, afraid of coming in as undecided as well. And so um, if you want to apply test optional, we are test optional for fall 2022 as well. Uh, or you can come in at the traditional route with test scores. Either way, the important takeaway is that there are um, direct pathways for students who want to go into our um, engineering, business, and nursing program. So the flagship programs are still available for direct entry with, uh, without test scores. So you can apply via Common App or our own Take Flight app. Uh, all you have to do is submit your application, high school transcript, test scores if you have them, uh, student involvement resume if you don't have test scores for scholarship consideration and $25 app fee. You can come visit in person or you can go take advantage of multiple options to visit virtually. And this is my contact information. Thanks so much for your attention and go cards. Thank you very much, University of Louisville. As we move into our final presenter, uh, this is a great opportunity for attendees to send through any questions they have via the Q&A, whether that be about admissions, majors, et cetera. Um, but our final presenter will be the University of Tampa. Thank you. Hopefully everyone can see my screen okay. So this is my contact information. Feel free to copy this down and I'll share it at the end as well. To tell you a little bit about the University of Tampa, we are located in a downtown area, but our campus is kind of separate from the downtown, so we have the best of both worlds. It's about a five minute walk right into downtown, but you can still find that quiet study space on campus. So um, as you tour campus, if you come on campus in person, you can also see it virtually. You'll see that we have a 
more of a park-like atmosphere, even though we are located in that downtown setting. Um, we are a medium-sized school with about 9,600 uh, students total, with a thousand of those being in graduate studies. We are a very diverse student body representing over 130 countries here um, in all 50 states. Along with that, we are part of the NCAA Division II sports in the Sunshine State Conference. We also have opportunities to join club and intramural sports. Um, and we are a private school. So our tuition is gonna be the same if you're coming from in or out of the state of Florida. Let's see here. All right, so a little bit about our classrooms and our programs. We do have over 200 areas of study, so you can easily um, adapt your major if you change your area of passion. Um, it's easy to add a minor. And you will have an academic advisor that will work hand in hand with you to make sure that you're on track to graduate. Our faculty to student ratio is one to 17 with that average class size being 22 students. As you get further into your program of study, that class size will grow smaller and smaller. So your professor is really gonna to get to know you as an individual. They're gonna know if you're coming to class, but more importantly, they're gonna be there for you when it comes to finding internships and being a reference for a job. 90% of our faculty do have their PhD or terminal degree. Um, and when you come to class, you will never be learning from a TA or a graduate assistant or a graduate assistant. You'll always be learning from a professor. We were ranked the top college campus in Florida. So definitely come check us out in person or virtually if you have a second. Um, and I will talk a little bit more about our hands-on learning in this next slide. We really believe in a hands-on learning model. So most of our programs require internships, which is awesome for getting that experience in your back pocket. Um, and some experience that we have on campus for our students include um, a nursing simulated hospital. So our students get that uh, hands-on experience right on campus. We also have a entrepreneurship center where our students get to pitch to local, domestic, and international investors. We have a financial trading center where students learn how to trade real money in real time on the stock market. Um, we have a fabrication lab, which is one of seven in the United States, along with a marine field station, which is located about 10 minutes from campus. We do provide transportation for our students. So all of these opportunities are ways for our students to apply what they're learning in the classroom in real life. Um, and as far as finding internships, we have a career service center, so they can help you find all of those opportunities. You don't have to do it on your own. Um, our motto here is to love where you live and learn. So we have over 300 student organizations to be a part of. Um, we also have an active Greek life. Um, we have 27 dining options with many housing options as well. So I'm um, just to give you a taste of our, what our student life is like. We do consider our students metropolitan active and independent um, based off of most of our students coming from further away from home, um, just being able to adjust to the resources and supports that we have on campus. Some and deadlines to pay attention to. Um, we do have an early action one deadline, which is a great way to put your best foot forward. Um, we are going to be a non-binding school. So if you are accepted, you're not required to attend. It's completely up to you. Some of those requirements for your application, we do accept the Common App, the Coalition App, and the UP App, so all three will be weighted the same. We also need your official high school transcript, a personal essay, and a letter of recommendation. We are going test optional until spring of 2023, so it's up to you if you'd like to send that in, um, but it will not be evaluated as part of the process. Um, that being said, when you apply, you can qualify from anywhere from four to $18,000 in a merit-based scholarship that will follow you all four years or your whole time here at UT. Um, and that is, does not require a separate application. It will all be um, in with that initial application that you apply at the school. So this next slide is just, again, my contact information. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. Um, I will briefly share that we do have um, study abroad opportunities. So that's something that you can take advantage of here. And all of our internships are um, within walking distance if that's something that you'd like. So you can find something that's further off, but you can also get something that's about five minute walking from campus. So um, you can get that hands-on learning without needing any extra transportation. Um, and that pretty much sums everything up for myself and the University of Tampa. Again, copy my information. Um, we do offer virtual tours, in-person tours, um, and I can also always set you up with a meeting with a professor from your intended major. So um, definitely let's stay in communication and hopefully we'll see you um, 
as a sperm one day. Thank you very much, University of Tampa. Um, and thank you to all of our panelists for your great presentations. It's hard to encapsulate everything about your school in six minutes, I know, but I think you gave our attendees a great taste of what your universities offer. Uh, we do have some time remaining, so attendees, if you have any final questions, please do feel free to send them through the Q&A. In the meantime, perhaps we can do a round of questions here ourselves. Um, so if I could ask everyone to turn their videos back on and answer the following question. We'll leave it kind of open. Um, so what's one thing you did not have time to present on? Uh, maybe that's your favorite event or tradition on campus, a fun fact about your school, et cetera. And so we'll go back in that same order, starting with the University of Alabama. Yes, thank you so much, Christopher. So, you know, I'll acknowledge the elephant in the room, right? That the literal elephant in the room that Bama is just a football school. Um, I just, you know, kind of maybe just to highlight tradition and winning tradition and heritage on our campus. While our football team has 17 national championships, our communications debate team has 21. So um, I always just like to give students a little glimpse of something that you don't get to see on the TV on Saturday. Great, thank you. University of South Alabama. Yeah, so definitely going uh, echoing the whole athletic um, motif right now. Um, so fun tradition that really students started. Uh, we were founded in the 60s. We did not have a football team till 2007 and students protested every single year. Uh, 2007, a fun tradition that started and still continues. Students actually TP the traffic circle and that's in honor of the protests that happened as well as that kicks off the tradition of starting out homecoming. And as I mentioned, we do have a brand new football stadium that's been ready 2020 and a brand new tradition is the incoming class is going to start the year by running onto the football stadium. We do own and operate the hospital system, so we do have expert epidemiologists part of our COVID task force as well. So we are doing hybrid in-person online, whatever your discretion is. So just something I wanted to say. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, Hendrix. Hello again. Uh, one, one piece I will highlight is the, the motto at Hendrix being unto the whole person. And certainly that's going to be the intellectual piece. That's going to be some social and emotional. And part of that is just the idea of fun. And we like to have fun here. Some students um, find this college search process so stressful and, and we want you, that you to find joy in this. And you're certainly going to find joy at Hendrix. Well, something we celebrate, we love birthdays here. It's likely that uh, the, the, in our award-winning uh, dining hall that the staff will come out and sing to you on your birthday. Maybe your friends will throw you in the fountain on, on your birthday that's right in the center of campus. Uh, another great tradition we have that's at the end of Welcome Week is shirt tails. You may amaze your new friends with your dancing skill set uh, through our residence hall competition um, uh, the, here in the center of campus. Uh, or you're not a dancer, I'm not a dancer, you may be amazed by your, your friends and, and what you're seeing there. So we love to have fun. Uh, we like to work hard as well. Great, thank you. Uh, Piedmont? Sure. Um, some fun things that we do uh, usually at the beginning of May, there will be uh, about six or seven different international um, opportunities to travel um, that are two weeks and tied to at least two of the classes. And um, that's a real fun way to um, go on a trip with some of your friends and faculty um, they have traveled to, of course, England and Scotland and Ireland, um, Portugal, Spain. Um, uh, let's see. And two years ago, the cycling team, our men's cycling team, of which the coach um, is an Olympic cycling coach, they went to Australia and had a wonderful time and were slated to go again um, this past, um, the spring of 2020. Uh, 2020 and we're not able to but um, certainly those trips are are back on board hopefully for 2022 so um, even though Piedmont University um, small school in northeast Georgia um, definitely um, plenty of opportunity 
for international travel um, with faculty. And um, Piedmont takes care of quite a bit of the um, expense for that. Um, food and um, entrance fees for different places, things like that. You're pretty much responsible for your plane ticket and Piedmont helps um, with a good bit of the travel costs. So, so that's exciting and something fun that we do. Great, thank you. I know a lot of people are waiting and anxious to start traveling again. Uh, Louisville? Hi all, I got cut off here for a second. There's so much construction in LA. Um, so, um, some cool things that happen. Well, of course, we have Kentucky Derby coming up soon, and then we are home to the largest fireworks show in the U.S. that ha actually is happening this uh, Saturday. Uh, but besides those, uh, on campus, our students love to raise money for pediatric cancer research by organizing a uh, dance marathon. So that takes place, um, well, this year was virtual, but uh, usually they raise uh, close to a million dollars every year. So it's fun. And it's also um, doing something good for the community as well. Great, thank you. And Tempa. All right, so I'll make this short. Um, we are expanding our recreation and fitness center. So that was something I wanted to share. Um, we're gonna have a new aquatic center with two new pools and a 30 person hot tub. Um, there's gonna be um, basketball courts, sand beach volleyball. So it's gonna be a great place for our students to stay active on campus, meet new friends, and also a cool study spot. So um, something to keep in mind. And we do have the models that will be completed next year. So you can go ahead and even do a tour online to see where you'll be working out and hanging out with friends. Great, thank you. Um, and I know a question has come in through the Q&A. We don't have time to answer it now, but don't worry. Um, all the panelists will get a transcript of questions asked by the attendees and can follow up with you. And we certainly encourage all of our attendees to follow up directly with all of our panelists. I'm sure they'd be loved to share more information about their schools with you uh, and answer any additional questions you may have. Uh, but this brings us to the end of our session. We would definitely want to thank all of our panelists for joining us and certainly thank all of our attendees. We hope uh, you got a quick taste of these schools and are anxious for more information. We'll be reaching out to each school to learn more about their offerings. Uh, before we do close this session, just a few quick housekeeping items. When you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you take a minute and complete. And again, there are two other blocks of sessions today. So if you haven't signed up for those, please do feel free to do so. And about one week from today, a recording of the session will be available on that same registration website. But thank you again to everybody uh, and to all of our students out there. Good luck in your college search. Have a great day.